Ian's position is certainly different than the one being taken by the Fraternal Order of Police, which is opposing the mayor's mandate. Patrick Elwood is live from Teachers Union headquarters with more. Pat. To say the least, Ben and Lourdes, good evening to you. The Chicago Teachers Union is pushing to have all of its members vaccinated and having them come here to union headquarters. And as a matter of fact, any city employee, they are welcome as well. Suffice to say, Teachers Union and its president, that stance much different from the Chicago Police Union's president and leadership council, their position on getting vaccines as well. Chicago Teachers Union says almost 90% of its members are vaccinated. And since the beginning of the pandemic, CTU has been pushing for a CPS administered vaccine program, but now it has developed its own initiative. CTU says it believes the fastest way out of this pandemic is to get vaccinated, plain and simple. So the deadline was set for tomorrow for city employees to get vaccinated. That has shifted, changed. So now city employees will be placed on unpaid leave if they do not submit proof of vaccination or agree to weekly testing. And when asked about the FOP's ongoing fight with the mayor, Jesse Sharkey, CTU president, wasn't supportive of the police union's position at all. This is a clear and present danger, and I think we have to treat it as such. And I think there's a there's a, a degree of pandering to, to right wing arguments that I don't agree with, and I and I don't think that people who lead public sector uh, you know groups of public sector employees should be playing with that. So walk-ins are welcome here at CTU Union Headquarters on the west side, but they're encouraging you to go online, get an appointment. It goes until 7 o'clock tonight and then tomorrow from 4 to 7 as well. That uh, website is ctulocal1.org. Reporting from the west side, Patrick Gell with WGN News. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Pat. Despite the pressures of being...